Hello, legends, and welcome to Blunt Force Healing Podcast, episode 321. So today uh, it is likely to be a stitched episode. I will just record. Is this really worth recording right now? I mean, should the screen, the whole screen, shaking every like one millisecond? Uh, it's still, you know, it aligns with the whole blog, which means it's a genuine recording, not beautifully edited, yeah, you, you know, prepared. We don't have a film crew around that can set us yeah. up with the lighting, uh, CGI, etc. We don't need that anyway. You are beautiful. I am beautiful. <laughs> like the whole world is beautiful. Uh, mommy is beautiful going down there already so yeah but let's get back to the yeah as well but to the recording so today we were very undecided on what we want to do and where we want to go and you got super pissed off uh, <laughs> yeah and we circulated a lot we went to Kiliter Forest first. Well, sorry, no. First Rasnola. Yeah, Rasnola. We got some kind of uh, treats and uh, coffee and then went to the beach. It was low tide. Mm -hmm. So we stayed there for a moment. Got the cake or the scone. A bit of coffee and then went to Kiliter Forest. Yeah. In Kiliter Forest, we found a lot of mushrooms that we didn't pick. <laughs> yeah, we didn't pick at all. So we decided we might go they to were pigeon mushrooms. <laughs> pigeon mushrooms. <laughs> yeah, in Polish it equals to pigeon, but they are brittle gills in English. <laughs> oh, one of I our... call them pigeons. I don't care. <laughs> Have you seen it? Yeah, one of the little. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we collected a little bit of... Whoa, such a big thing. Yep, that's a puffball. Oh. But it's already... But there's a, another one. Uh, this one is fresh. Yeah, oh, yeah you fun. need to wait for puffballs to get that was massive, Remember that ripe. Puff? And then Remember you can... that puffball at Loch Derg when it was like this size? Yeah, it was brilliant. So after that Kiliter forest, we... Here. Headed to Loch Derg, but decided to not go there and circulated back to the similar area and that we already went through, which was our there. popular Lehoni uh, loop for Minadrine, yeah, wind farm. And we again, I'll show you, collected a bit of mushrooms that are edible, and I we were fortunately. Them. I hit my head on them. <laughs> <laughs> and the last part of it. Yeah. The, the last mushroom that we were picking up was, was on a sort of a small cliff like. A tiny cliff, yeah. Yeah, and Julie, I was keeping Julian <laughs> from falling. And, then the and damn, when he jumped. My damn foothold broke under me. And, yeah. <laughs> and he hit, hit the all the mushrooms <laughs> that we had in the bag with. Well, they're not his, all broken, at least. That's yeah, the, with his head. Matters. So some of them <laughs> broke. I have some very but annoying the best, fly the best, around me. The best part of it was um was when mommy sent you up on that bigger, bit bigger cliff. Yeah, my wife decided that it. the uh, large bullets, so were, those yellow mushrooms were more that important we really like. My dad's safety. Yeah, so they were so important that. It didn't count that I have a very slippery shoes, uh, that it's very steep and has no that you could break a leg. footholds. Yeah, uh, there were a lot of spiky. He's like, no, I want you to go up there. Yeah, spiky I'm leaves everywhere, brambles, and uh, to be honest, like it was quite difficult to get there last time. I decided to not take pick them, but today they were cheering up for me. To, to get there, whatever the cost, and we got them. Uh, I found a couple of ticks on me uh, so far. Julian will have to check me 
at the back, especially I'll because I feel yourself. something itchy. I'll have to check myself. <laughs> yeah, I'll check you. Uh, no worries. Okay. And I'll check mommy, although mommy is well prepped because she has long, long pants and, and, shirt. and shirt, so she should be fine. But we are uh, in shorts, so. so um, I have the jumpers, so I don't really gotta worry about my hands, but. Yeah. But anyway, but like... But ticks usually go from down to top, so uh, from legs side. So we are both at risk. Okay. And I already took about five of them since we started. Uh, one of them was already uh, feeding on my knee, so was a nymph, a uh, very early stage. So a very young tick. But regardless, all of them might have pathogens. So, the interesting thing that I uh, recently heard, I need to check that up, is that ticks only need to feed once. But I'm not sure if it's one once per phase or once in their lifetime. Oh, you remember the Japanese jo joke with the bookshop? Uh, if you can't find the right book, you're in the Wong Fu King bookshop. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, I think that we diverged from the topic too much. So, I did. 321 days of blogging and podcasting, which is quite an amazing journey. Sometimes it's very dull. It's just life, and sometimes it's exciting. Today is one of those average days. Uh, we managed to get some fresh air a bit of walking and now we're returning back to the car and home to get some dinner so in like about I'll cut it off hours. now if i'll manage to record the rest at home that's cool i'll stitch it together if not um stay tuned for the next episode tomorrow bye see ya